I want to develop the equation for a Young's double slit experiment uh, a little bit further and get a way to think about the distance between these bright spots uh, that appear on the screen. So over here on the left somewhere is a light source. This light will pass through these two small slits that are separated by a distance d. And some distance l away is our screen where we will see alternating bright spots and dark spots. Uh, we can label each of these bright spots uh, with an m value, 0, 1, negative 1, as you saw in the previous video. We can also think about the path length difference between light traveling through one slit and light traveling through the other slit as they reach that bright spot. So here in the middle, light from each slit travels the same distance. The path length difference delta is 0. Uh, up at the first bright spot, light from this bottom slit will travel one wavelength further than light from the top slit. Uh, down here, light from the top slit will travel one wavelength further than light from the bottom slit. And I want to use uh, this fact, the fact that I know what this wavelength difference, or this path length difference is for different bright spots, to work out an equation. Uh, so, I'm going to diagram out uh, light passing through the slits and hitting the first bright spot here. And the first thing I'm going to do is draw this little triangle here. So I'm going to draw a line down that hits this bottom path perpendicular so that from this point on this bottom path is equal to the top path which means this little side of this triangle this bottom piece that's my path length difference that's my delta right there if I call this angle here at the top of the triangle theta then I can say sine theta equals delta over D uh, this is the equation you saw in the previous slide so this tells me the angle theta at which a bright spot appears. Uh, if I know what to if I plug in for delta equals lambda, it's the first bright spot. Delta equals two lambda gives me the second bright spot, and so on. Uh, so there's one triangle. Next triangle I want to make goes from the center of the two slits right across to the central bright spot, and from the center of the two slits up to whatever point on the screen I'm interested in. And it turns out, if we do a little geometry, that the angle here in this triangle is the same theta as we had on the previous slide. So from this new triangle in blue, I can say that tangent theta equals opposite this distance on the screen, which I'll call y, between the center of the screen and the center of whatever point I'm interested in. Here it's the first bright spot. Tangent theta equals y divided by this length l, the distance from the slits to the screens. And it turns out that this value theta, uh, it's rather exaggerated in this diagram, this value theta is very small, which means that the length of this side of the triangle is pretty close to the length of this side of the triangle. These two blue sides are very close in length. Uh, if this were drawn accurately, this would be a very squished triangle. In that case, tangent of theta, y divided by the bottom length, is very nearly equal to sine theta which would be y divided by this other blue length. So the two blue lengths are approximately equal, then tangent theta is about equal to sine theta. In that case, I can set sine theta equals delta over d equal to sine theta equals y over l, and I get a very convenient equation. y equals l delta divided by d, so it involves the distance between the slits, the distance from the slits to the screen, and the path length difference at whatever point on the screen I'm looking at, and this will tell me why. Why here is the distance from the center of the screen up to whatever point of interest I'm looking for. So if I put in delta equals lambda, then y will be the distance from the center of the screen to the first bright spot. If I put in delta equals uh, lambda divided by 2, then it would be the distance from the center of the screen up to the first dark spot. If I put in delta equals 2 lambda, it will be the distance from the center of the screen up to the second bright spot, somewhere up here. So I can calculate any point on the screen, bright or dark, that I'm interested in, just by plugging in the correct value for delta.